Hey, you're home so early. What happened? Oh, yes, baby. I need to pick up the documents I forgot. Do you know what? There is something I need to show you right now before you go for those documents. I'm so, so upset. What is it? Come. Come with me. <laughs> the matter yes and uh, i want you to see this for yourself oh wow oh believe me boy it's been fixed what has been fixed <laughs> and we actually had a plumbing problem here this morning i guess chinway found a way to fix it don't tell me you actually dragged me down here because of the plumbing issues babe this is your house are you being serious here this is my house as well as yours if there's any plumbing issues you fix it. You don't have to wait for me. And please, I'm running late for my schedule. By the way, um, where's Chun? Ma, I'm right here. Oh, what are you doing? I was inside my room and I thought I heard your voice. Okay, and I hope you're taking good care of the house, my nieces and my fiancé. Yes, ma, I'm taking care of everyone. Really? Don't forget I'm the man in charge here. I take care of everything. Oh, sure. Let me run along. All right, I'll see you when I'm you get back. Wait. Let me go pick up the file I came from upstairs. All right, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Richie, <sighs> that was too close. Hey! Serious. <sighs> Richie, please, we need to be more careful. We need to be more careful. I agree. <laughs> okay, just continue your work here. Yeah? Come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving for the boutique. Okay, Auntie. But that's when you need to come back. Mm. Apparently next week, after that barrier. Okay. Is it that you're bored staying alone? Auntie, I told you that I need some new friends in the next compound. Oh, that's true. Okay, have fun. Okay. I'll see you when I'm back. Okay? Okay. All right, then. Take care. Thank you. Austin, I have made up my mind to play. Are you sure about this? I mean, bearing in mind, do you know it could cost you your job here? It's not going to cost me my job. How do you know? Even if it does, well, that would be worth it. GM, Clara is our boss here. There is no way Clara can beat you. Never say never, boy. I've got this one. And you've got no money. But I'm working hard, hello. Have you taken a look at that woman? Do you know how much that would cost? Or since they don't get this, it's not all about money. Everything is about money. I'm simply telling you to look for your level. It's alright, I will come see you, okay? Alright. Get up. Oh, what's up? You guys should guess what? Guess what I just saw now. You saw your teacher in the street? No, silly. I saw your Uncle Richie dropping off a lady in the other street. Why am I not surprised? I saw him the other time too. That man is a womanizer. I don't like him and I don't want our aunt to get married to him. You have to warn your auntie. 
We've tried so many times, but she still doesn't believe us. I'm just going to give up. She'll be making a very big mistake by getting married to that Uncle Richie. We know, but what can we do? For your auntie to believe you guys, she needs to get her hand on serious evidence. That's true, but we don't have any evidence. You know what? I'll think of something. Really? Sure. So, um, Anita. Go get the chips so we can like plan something like a game or hang out. And what is this? Who dropped this? I don't know. Did my fiance by any chance come here? No, 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 I didn't. I thought as much because I left him a while ago at home. So, where did this come from? Honestly, ma, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Do you just allow people walk in and out of my office at will? Is that what I'm paying you for? I'm very sorry, ma. You had better been. And I need to know who dropped this here. I did, ma. You did? Yes, I did, ma. Linda, I did your screen. Okay, Levi, what? may I know why you dropped a rose flower on my table? Um, I... Can't you talk? Or have you suddenly gone down? Um, I'm sorry, ma. It's my small way of saying thank you for giving me the opportunity to work here with you as the general manager. And you had to do that with a rose flower? That's what I could lay my hands on. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the flower, but gestures like this could easily be misinterpreted. I had no ulterior motive for it. I'm not talking about you. You know I have a fiance. What do you think he would say if he sees this? I'm sorry, madam. I don't think of it that way. Okay, so what do you have for me? Yes. This document needs your endorsement. Thank you. Anything else? No, madam. Okay. Thanks for the plan. Oh, thank you. Sir, what you did could have cost me my job. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the flowers you left in Madame's office. You lied to me. You told me you were going in there to leave some flowers for Madame to attend her. Yes, I did that. You did what? I left the files on her desk, as well as the flowers. Why didn't you tell me about the flowers? Why would I do that? Because when she saw the flowers, she asked me first, not you. Linda, calm down, will you? By the way, why would you even leave flowers in Madame's office? That is none of your business. Oh, it's none of my business. Yes, absolutely. And don't forget, you are talking to the GM. I'm sorry, sir. You better be. Watch your back. Hello? Why, I'm out. When are you coming back? About two to three hours. Oh, really? Alright, I want to talk to you. About what? What's going on with Jim? What do you mean? Are you aware that he sent rose flowers to Madam? Yes, I'm aware he told me. And? And what? What is his motive for doing that? How would I know? You're his friend. I'm sure he talks to you about things. Well, this one, he didn't talk to me about it. I don't believe you. Well, it's up to you what you believe. Excuse me. Where is Mimi? She's coming. Didn't they tell her food is served? I don't know. Can we just eat? I'm tired. 
tired of waiting for this girl. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely hungry right now. I want to eat. Hold on, sweetie. The family that stays together eats together. She's coming. Mirabel, are you okay? Yes, auntie. Well then, let's eat. Hold on. Anita, say the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the supership of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Auntie, this food is very delicious. I'm sure you like it. So, sweetheart, I made a three man showcase in Abuja. Remember the contract I told you about? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, I'll be traveling to Abuja next week to defend my proposal. Wow, that's, that's great. That's wonderful. Part of you, babe. Auntie, I want to follow you. Mmm, really? Who is going to take care of you while I'll be busy running around? I'll take care of myself. Hmm. Don't worry. I won't be gone for too long. I'll only be staying two days, okay? And be sh rest assured I'll buy you something on my way back. Auntie, what are you going to buy for us? What do you want? You just name it. <laughs> Auntie? Yes. Please, can I ask you something? Oh, okay. I'm listening. Auntie, why do men cheat on their partners? Where did you get that from? My friends from the next compound. Okay. They have an aunt who has a fiancé that cheats on her. Oh. I saw him dropping off a lady the other day. Well, it's a choice people make. But auntie, my friends have tried to warn her so many times. She's not listening to them. In fact, she does not believe them at all. Gloria, I think you should mind your own business. But auntie, they're my friends. I'm worried about them. At least they've done what they could, which is to warn their auntie. So it's not left for the woman. Auntie, you think so? Yes, Gloria. You feel better now? Yeah, I feel a lot better. You know, you should take time to relax. All work and no play, they say. Sweetie, I'm actually thinking about that as well. Hmm. Babe, I was actually thinking if we should take a weekend getaway. No, 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 not now. Why? I got a lot of workload. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mimi. Is there something you want to tell me? No, auntie. Mm, sure. Babe, I'll get that, all right? Okay, darling. Oh, my bear. hi. How are you? Auntie Maybell. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. How are you, darling? I'm fine, auntie. You're good? Yeah. How's the story? Everything's fine. Very well. Yes. All right, baby. Mm. <laughs> Hi. 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 And once the money is made available, I'll start off. Sweetheart, the thing is, um, my capitals are tied down on one business or the other. But, um, never mind, never mind. Say, I'm um, expecting something next week. 
as soon as it comes out, I'll let you know. I'm not promising, but I'm definitely expecting something next week. So once it comes out, I'll let you know, okay? It's okay. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. So tell me, how about the bag I told you to keep for? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I will even just wrap. How was your day, girls? Um, it was fine, Auntie. I'm sorry I haven't been spending time with you, girls. Work at the office has been tedious. Auntie, can I come help you? Hmm. You come and help me when you're through with your university studies. And that's like how many years from now? Fifteen years. <laughs> it's so little. I'm glad you girls have really settled here. Auntie, I want to tell you something, but you might not believe me. So Go just talk that. Mirabel, let her talk. What is it, my dear? Gloria said she saw Uncle Richie dropping up a lady in the next street. What? What kind of talk is that? Gloria told us today. Mimi. Um, Auntie, it's Gloria that said it. Okay. I've heard you. So, are you going to throw Uncle Richie out of the house? <laughs> Why would I want to do anything like that? Of course, no, I won't throw Uncle Richie out. Uncle Richie is my husband to be, and I love him very much. And we're getting married. I don't want you to marry him. Sylvia, stop that. It's not. Sylvia, darling. I don't expect you to understand the things of the world, okay? You just concentrate on your studies. Yes, Auntie. Okay, so I'll be leaving you girls now. I'll see you in the morning before leaving for work. Good night. Okay, Auntie. I told you guys she won't believe us. Exactly. Gloria said she would come up with something, but we need evidence to get that Uncle Richie guy out of our lives. I need you to reach out to Energy Global Concepts and remind them of our payments. We should have gotten that money by now. I spoke with the general manager earlier. He told me they're still working on our payment. For how long? I suggest we give them a few days. After which I will go there to speak to their chairman directly. All right. Let's do as you said. I also need you to reach out to a big project manager. Let them know that that job is a priority. I will do that, madam. Okay, that will be your lady. Thanks. Thanks, madam. Uh, madam. Yes, what is it, lady? I was wondering if you could do me the honor. Honor of what? Of allowing me to take you out for lunch. Take me out for lunch? Yes, ma'am. Why? Uh, no particular reason. All right, I'll check my schedule. I have already done that with Linda. She said you are letting me free this afternoon. It's not supposed to take more than 30 minutes. All right. Oh, thank you, mother. Trying to warm your way into Madame's heart. You think giving her flowers will do it? You are talking rubbish, Linda. Do you think I am? Really? Anyway, I'm not in the mood for this. I know it's her money you're after. 
What? I love her with my heart. Oh, now you love her. Hmm. Initially, you had no ulterior motive for giving her flowers. That's what you said. Her money never crossed my mind. I want you to get that. Well, Madame is way too smart for you to think you can easily have your way. Wow. I've not had that. <laughs> So I was thinking about it last night, and it just occurred to me. You want to get rid of that Kurichi guy? Yes. So let's play a prank on him. A prank? What are you talking about, Gloria? You create a fake Instagram page, use it to chat him up, say the things you're not supposed to say to him. That would be a very strong evidence. I think I like that. Your Uncle Richie is showing your aunt the version that she wants her to see. What if we provide another version for her to see? But who is going to do the chatting? Mimi, you are the oldest, so you'll do it. No, I cannot do it. I'll do it. No. If this backfires, I want to exonerate you and Sylvia from it. So Mimi, will you do it? Yes. Do you know your Uncle Richie's Instagram page? Yes, I've seen it on my auntie's homepage before. So, you create an account, send him a request. Of course, you know you're going to use another person's picture. But I don't have any other person's picture. I'll send you my friend's picture. She's very beautiful. Once Uncle Richie sees her, he will fall. And then we'll unmask him. Exactly. Let's do it. Oh, I see you. Oh, I feel like dancing like Michael Jackson. Why are you so excited? What's the good news? Because I have a date. You have a date? With who? Clara. <laughs> I don't understand. I told her I want to take her out. And she obliged me. Now I need you to give me the perfect lines. <laughs> well, perfect line? Yes, you know what they say about first impression. <sighs> GM, there's nothing like a perfect line. All you just need to do is to just go there and be yourself. That's all. Be myself, right? I'll be myself. <laughs> but, mind your language. You know, she's our boss. Don't throw the dates. Sure, sure, I'll do that. Do you know how long I've waited for this moment? I'm not going to ruin it. Not at all. I hope you don't ruin it. Linda almost ruined my day. Linda. What did she do? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter what she does. I choose to be happy. Boy. I'm in my office. I'll Good. see you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Cheers. Get this ready for me. I'll be going out with it in the next three hours. Alright. Mm -hmm. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. I know you're my boss, and this is probably none of my business. But the truth is that I care about you. I know you care about me, Linda. I hope there's no problem. It's about the GM. What about him? He's interested in you. I know. I see the way he looks at me. Well, I don't think he has the best of intentions. Well, my dear, I don't care about his intentions. What matters to me is that I have my mom and I'm getting married in the next six months. So I care about me. But all the same, thanks for caring. Okay. Okay. 
Lives in Abuja. Okay, University of uh, Abuja. Mm -hmm. Okay. And set. <laughs> wow. She's pretty. Oh my god. What is it? He just followed back. Are you surprised? My friend is very beautiful. So what's next? Send him a DM. Sylvia, stay back. You're not supposed to be here. You're too young for this. I'm not too young. What message should I send him? Send him hi, dear. Gloria, how do you know all this? Because you seem perfect at it. Is that a compliment? Yes. He said hello, darling. <laughs> Sylvia, okay. stay back. I'm not too young. Ask him how is your day going. My day has been made by you. Are you single and ready to mingle? Tell me yes. Send me your WhatsApp number and details. WhatsApp number? Hold on, hold on. Use this thing. I registered it with my name, but Kurichi will not know. Use it to send him a message on WhatsApp. Gloria, how do you know all this thing? Me, I'm scared of you. Just do it. Yes, mom. So, This is awkward for me. I don't know whether to call you mother or your name. You can call me whatever you like. It's okay if I call you by your name. I just said you can call me whatever you like. Well, girl, you are a woman I admire so much. I mean, ever since I started working for you, Okay. I really liked you a lot. Okay. I'm, I'm just wondering if there's any space in your heart left at all, even if it's the tightness of it, for a son of man like me. Oh, wait a minute. You want to date me? It would be an honor. Women like you are not many out there. You mean... Women with money? Your money means absolutely nothing to me, girl. I just want to share my life with you. <laughs> I must say, I like your guts. Because most men out there wouldn't they see what you're currently saying to me. But to answer your question, no, Levi. I have no space in my heart for you. I am already taken. And I'm sure you know my man. I know, but... But what? I just think he has not married you yet, and that makes you available. No, I'm not. Does he treat you well? And how is that your business? Of course. I know how it feels to be rejected, but... Have you ever been rejected? <laughs> Say, I've had my own share of heartbreak, and here I am standing. You're a wonderful guy, and I'm sure a lot of ladies out there will be glad to have you. I'm not giving up on your crap. I have these feelings that your fans will mess up. And you think I'll come running into your arms? Life is unpredictable. Really? We'll see to that.
Yes, Jim. I'd like to see you. In your office, sir? No, I'm not in the compound. I'm having lunch in the restaurant. Sir, you want me to come to the restaurant to see you? There's something I want to tell you. What's that, sir? I can't say it over the phone. I can't leave my duty post, sir. Our boss has gone for a meeting. I will not be back until three hours' time. Plus, I am the general manager of the company. All right, sir. Which of the restaurants? Oh, okay. I know the place. I'll be on my way I hate to lie to you, Clara, but. <clears throat> Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. You sent for me. Oh, please stop with all the formalities. I'm the only one here. I thought that's what you want, formalities. Hey, don't, don't tempt me. And if I do, yeah, you are poor. Then yeah, what's the big deal? Luigi, please be done. Okay. So. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, girls. I'm going to the library. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. I brought you guys something. Wow. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, could you remember Gloria over there? Of course I do. How are you doing, Gloria? I'm fine, sir. Good. Um, Uncle, what are you doing here? I mean, your auntie's at work. I know. Actually, I came to deliver a generator set. You now have brand new generator set. Wow. Uncle, are you serious? Yes. But what can happen to the old one? I don't know. It depends on what their aunt wants to do with it. So girls, tell me, what did I miss? Nothing. Uncle, my birthday is next month. Of course I know. I haven't forgotten. And guess what? What, Uncle? Welcome. I'm planning a big surprise for you. Wow! But what is it? If I tell you, then you won't be a surprise anymore. That's true. That's true. Go. Uh, Mimi, get a glass cup so you guys can share it. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, Shingo, I just want to confirm if you have considered my proposal. What proposal? Uh, Shingo, why are you like this? Okay. But I didn't tell you I would think about it. Ah. <laughs> now you know the proposal I was talking about. Lucky, if you don't mind, I have things to do inside. Wait, um, Shingo, so you don't want to give me a chance? A chance to do what? To be your man, of course. Mm. Lucky, I am not here to find love. I'm not ready. See, Shingo, people find love in strange places. Eh? Yes. Me, Chiwe, I am here to do my work and earn a decent living. That's all. Chiwe, is this stubbornness or what? Okay, you can call it whatever you like. Like I told you before, I have things to do inside. So you can't give me a chance. Chiwe, lucky. Chichi. Uh-uh. Yo, Ria. Where are you coming from by this time? I got to the house and I couldn't find you. Auntie, I went to my friend's house for the next compound. Why is it a bit late? Auntie, but it's just the next compound. I know. You told me that before. Okay, Auntie. Please, can you do me a favor? Favor? Mm. I want you to talk to their aunt Clara on their behalf. What will I tell her? Auntie, that much she wants to marry. 
He's not a good person. Gloria, I have told you to mind your own business. Ah, uh -uh. Auntie, that man is not a good man. He does not have good intentions for Aunt Clara. He just wants to ruin her life. Gloria, see, when it comes to love between two adults, it's better not to get in between them. Because at the end, you might find it uncomfortable. So just mind your business and let them be. Please. Ha! What do you think? Sweetheart. Hey. Yes, darling. How are you? Uh -huh. Did you just yeah. come in? Yes, I was told you took a walk. Yeah. I took a walk down the street. Oh, God. Yeah. So how was your day? Splendid. Did you hold all those meetings you talked about in the morning? Not all of them. I had to reschedule. Oh. All right. Ooh. So how was your own day? Okay. Mm -hmm. Point as usual. You know, mm. seeing you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm tired. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. The boss lady has uh, the woman see you. Oh. Really? Is that what I am to you? Of course, that's what you've always been. You know, I was wondering, yeah? Our kids are going to be very lucky to have a hard working mom like you you think so mm, yeah i know so mm. because a woman like you <laughs> always a blessing to our generation oh stop flattering me because <laughs> i'm not you are a real gift sweetheart oh thanks <laughs> come here mm. <laughs> So can we go have dinner now? Yeah. Oh yeah. That reminds me. There's something. Uh... Um. There's something I want us to talk about, but I am not going to say now until after dinner. Any problem with the kids? Nah. See. Not at all. Richie, I want you to relate better with those kids. Really? Yeah. Babe? Did you want who don't want me here? Of course, you know I relate better with them. I relate well with them, but... You know they are kids. If you think um, they feel you're not treating me right, then prove them wrong. You're saying this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... Haven't I been treating you right? Then do more. And how dare... Sorry. How do you want me to do that, babe? Let's go have dinner. Please. Let's go have dinner, please. Auntie Clara just came back from work. Okay. Mm, what are you doing? Just sending a DM to Uncle Richie on Instagram. With a fake account? Of course. Gloria called a few minutes ago and she said I should leave a DM. <laughs> but assuming this comes out with the desired results, um, how are we going to justify ourselves to Auntie Clara? Don't worry, we'll cross the bridge when we get to. Don't you think she wonder where we learned all this from? Look, my primary concern is exposing that two-faced man, Uncle Richie. I can face the consequences afterwards. But don't worry, I will say I'm in this alone. No, I won't let you be in this alone. I know you won't let me go down alone. <laughs> so, look at what he said. See, John, do you know that I asked she were out a while ago and she turned me down? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I have told you times without number. Leave Chinwe of a girl alone. We will not listen. 
I should leave Shingo of a girl alone. Why will I leave her alone? The meat that she is eating is bigger than you. What are you talking about? The meat is eating is bigger than me. How? You know, I am the security officer of this house. Mm -hmm. And I see what no I sees. John, are you going to tell me something here? Talk now. I'm just beating around the bush. There are no bushes around here. But it depends if you can keep the secret. Secret? What secret? Can you keep a secret? John, if you want to talk, you talk. I can keep a secret. Is it not just secret? I can keep a secret now. Chimwe is sleeping with Oga. Ta, come on, get out. How is that possible? Chimwe sleeping with Oga. How? I have caught them not once, three times at night at the back of this bed. <laughs> no, no. Having sex. No, it's not possible. You, you always like to take um, um, serious things as joke. Be serious for once now, John. Lucky. I am very serious. Whenever Madame is in the house, that guy that calls himself Oga and Chinwe will be having sex at the backyard. John, you are serious about this, sir? Like I said, I am very serious. So, stop wasting your time gunning for children. Because the fish that she is eating is bigger than you. So, when is school resuming? Next month, on the 10th. And are you ready for your resumption? Yes, sir. Okay, I need you to study very hard, okay? When you study hard, you'll be proud of yourself in future. I want to become like you. Ah, you can even become much more than me. <laughs> Chinwe. Yes, sir. Come, please. I heard you sent a letter to the office for salary increments. Yes, ma'am. And do you think you deserve a salary increment considering the short while you've been with us? Yeah, yes, ma. I think I have been doing a good job, ma. <laughs> that is not for you to judge. Anyway, I think I'll leave that to Sylvia here to judge. Sylvia, do you think Auntie Chinwe deserves salary increment? Yes. She's been doing a very good work and she's been taking care of us. Of course, that is why I employed her. Or oh, is that not why I employed you? Yes. Without this kit, I have no need for you in this house. Mm. But in that case, I think I will increase your salary. Ah, thank you, Ma. God bless you. Don't thank me. You should thank Sylvia here. Ah, Sylvia, thank you. You're welcome. All right, good. Nice. You can go. Thank you.
Lucky, what is it? Why do you keep calling me on phone? I've told you that. I don't want... I know why you don't want to date me. What are you talking about? Yes, you are sleeping with that bastard, Rishi. What? <laughs> yes. Lucky, how could you conceive such thought in your mind? I've I have seen you so many times with him having sex through the window. You must be a fool to say that to me. Shouldn't you be nice to me? Considering the fact that I know your secrets and I can hurt you. <laughs> is that what you think? You can't prove anything. Oh, wait. Is that what you think? Yes. Let's just assume that um, I don't have any proof. All I have to do is just to point Madame to the right direction. I have seen you and Rishi so many times making love through the window. At night when Madame would have been upstairs sleeping. Lucky, what do you want from me? Now you're talking. The same thing you give to that bastard is the same thing I want from you. For my dead body, I can never sleep with you. Why? Because I can't sleep with you. Calm down. Do you think that idiot Rishi is better than me? Of course yes. No. That guy is just fortunate having a woman who is spending on him. But for people like us, we walk out every day and night to make the money. Now listen up. I give you 24 hours from now to reconsider your answer. Else! You said you wanted us to talk. Yeah, please say. Okay. Hmm. So what do you want us to talk about? Babe, you see, uh, people, people are talking, especially my friends. They think I am not the man in this relationship, which I am not very comfortable with. And what's the meaning of that? I mean, they think you're the man and I am the woman. <laughs> oh my God. Which you won't do. Really? Are we really having this conversation? Seriously? Doesn't he deserve a conversation? A man should be the head and not the other way around. And what makes you think you're not the head here? Okay. For a start. Number one. I mean, number one. You make the decisions here. I don't. I mean, you make the decisions in this house. I don't. Number two, I don't have a say on what happens in the company. I mean, as your would-be husband, I should have a share in the company. Don't you get it? Is that what this is all about? My company? Clara, this is about respect. People think I'm not in charge here. And what's my business about what people think? It is my business what people think. You make me feel less of a man with the things you do. And it's so wrong. Sweetheart, this is not the right time for you to get involved in the company. Don't forget my late brother left this company for I and my nieces. Clark. Zod. Seriously? I can't believe we're having this conversation. Is that why you want to marry me? You want my company? What? No, 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 Clara, of course I'm not going for your company. I just want things to be done the right way. Sweetheart, I can give you anything you want. Money, car, every good thing of life, but not this company. Don't forget I am your husband. Is that why I should hand my company over to you? Oh, of course I'm not asking you to do that. I just want you to acknowledge me this as that's all. Acknowledgement, Clara, acknowledgement. 
acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long this company has been existing before I met you? And now you just want me to hand it over to you? Just like that? Oh, of course I don't want your company. I just want to be part of it as your husband. Exactly my point. We shouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> we are not yet married. I, I know we are not yet married. Right now, I'm trying to prepare you for that. Because when that time comes, when we eventually get married, things are going to change around here. What do you mean? I mean, you're going to treat me with respect when we eventually get married. You mean I don't respect you? Oh, yes. I don't feel your respect in this house, Clara. You do things as the boss, like the boss lady that you are. I, I, I want to be the man. I want to feel it. Like, I want to feel like the man of this house. Do you know what? Yes? Excuse me. Seriously? Are you walking out of me? Clara! God damn! Girls, Uncle Richie and Auntie Clara are fighting. Fighting? Why? From what I heard, he wants her to give him the company. I said it. That man was up to no good. But why should she even give him our father's company? He said because they're getting married soon. We have to get rid of him before he does so much damage here. I agree. Should we talk to Auntie Clara again? No. Talking to Auntie Clara now is pointless. But she stood her ground. She told him to go to hell. That's nice. That company is all that he wants. And he's never going to get it. I like the way she put him in his place. Wait, I'm confused here. Are all men like that? No, Sylvia. All men are not like that. Remember our dad? He was a good man. Yes, he was a good man. I remember. Don't mind Uncle Richie. He's just being his usual self. So let's get rid of him. Exactly. And I actually came up with a plan, but we're going to have to make sacrifices. Sure. So... Lucky. Yes? How could you? How could you say that to Chimu? She will figure out, I told you. Oh, see, John, she will not know anything. I told her I saw them myself. She will know it was me that told you. John, calm down. Will you? You have just been afraid of a mega. I'm not a troublemaker. I don't want trouble. There is no problem here. You see that, Chinwe? I will get what I want from her. I think she will sleep with you. See? I will sleep with Chinwe. I have a right in my palm. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feelings. Keep your bad feelings to yourself. You see that thing Chinwe used to give to that um, Oga Rishi? Eh? I want it to. I will eat it and I will eat everything. So I got your test message. Are you alright? What's up? Richie, there's a problem. A problem? What problem? The driver. Lucky, he knows about us. What? What what do you mean? He knows about us? What do you mean? He said he saw us making love through the window. Are you, are you serious? How 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 did how? Do you know the problem right now? He's even blackmailing me. He will say they want to sleep with me. Or else he will tell Madame. She went calm down. Do you, you, you know what will happen? I will handle it. Okay? How? Continue to your job. I'll handle it. I'll take care of that. Okay? Are you going out? Just calm down. Go, go fix up things for the kids, yeah? All right? Okay. Don't, just calm down. Don't worry yourself. I'll handle that. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, sir. 
So you are the fool who is blackmailing you and saying you saw us having sex through the window. I told her that quite all right, but I am not a fool. I did my homework before I talked to her, knowing quite all right that this will get to you. Lucky, do you still like your job here? I think the, the question should be if you still like your engagement with madam. Because, I mean, you are the one hitting the jackpot here. Huh. Who are you? My name is Lucky, and you know that. <clears throat> okay, I will pretend this never happened. The next time you cross my path again, I'll kill you. So are you. See, the worst thing that will happen is for me to lose my job, right? And I'm just a driver. I can easily get driving work elsewhere. But I just don't want to think what you will lose if this gets to mother or to the public. What do you want? Now you are talking. All I need is 500,000. Are you, are you crazy? Yes. And you have now tea tomorrow by this time. You bastard. I get that a lot. By this time tomorrow, I need that money. Excuse me. Richie, how did you go? He wants 500,000 Naira. What? And he wants it by to no money latest. Hey, that idiot. What do we do? I don't want to sleep with him. I don't want. Sleeping with him right now is no longer the option. The money is what he really wants. He knew you would bring the news to me, and he also knew I would approach him. Mm. It was a calculated plan. Richie, what do we do? Remember your engagement with Clara and my job here. Please, you need to give him that money. Where do you expect me to get such an amount of money from? I don't have it. Oh, but Madame has it. Madame is a rich woman. Ask her. Claire and I are fighting. We had an argument last night. She's up. She's very, very upset with me right now. Then, just pacify her. Look for a way just to get that money. Do whatever that is necessary. Get that money from her so that you and I will be free from that idiot. Simple. I'm thinking of an alternative. Which is? What will happen if I make Lucky disappear? Hey! Richie! Are you completely clean? <gasps> well, I deal with my enemies whichever way I want. Hey! Richie, no! Oh! Can you even allow people to hear this? It has got into that. Clean Loki will make you a murderer. And I don't want to kill somebody just because of me. Richie, this is this will worsen the situation. Uh, you know what? You know what? When Madame comes back this evening, eh, have sex with her the way you have never done before. You understand? In the morning, you ask her for the money. She'll give it to you. But clean Loki, I am not in support of that. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the morning. Please don't. <laughs> don't kill him or it wasn't this situation. Ha! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm deeply sorry. 
For, please forgive me. No, 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 Richie, don't do this. I was really out of line. I'm sorry. It's fine. You know, Clara, you, you have really been nice to me and I... Richie, it's okay. Get up. Get up. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Get up. It's okay. It's okay. fine. Get up. What can I do to make up for this? What are you talking about? <sighs> hmm. I think I have an idea. Uh, oh, <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, you're really going to ask me about that? Of course it is. Okay. It was amazing as always. I know, right? I guess that's why you don't want to let me go. The question here is, do you really want to go? Of course not, baby. I'm here to stay. Mm. I feel it's right here with you. Good morning, man. Morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, man. Mm. Mm. Um, babe. Uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, what is it? Babe, I... I need some money. But I paid some money into your account last week. I know. I've used it. Sometimes you make me begin to ask what you do with all the money I give to you. So how much are we talking about? Five. Five hundred thousand. That's a lot of money. I know. Mom, mom called me yesterday and she was complaining that there's there's a problem in the family and uh, they need some money to resolve it. You know, my older brother is not doing well financially at the moment and so... Okay, 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 okay. I will um, send some money to you when I get to the office, okay? Really? Oh, that's my baby. baby. Mm. And I guess I'm done here. I'll mm -hmm. see you later. Alright, I'll see you when you get back from here. No, she hasn't reported to work today. And I wouldn't allow you going there in case you want to drop another flower. <laughs> I don't have a flower. I don't care, sir. Well, I was in her house yesterday. Her missus, three of them, told me how her two girlfriend is taking advantage of her. Taking advantage of her? How? He cheats on her. Something I will never do if I become Clara's man. <laughs> you are still hopeful. Of course. Even when her wedding is in six years. Yes, anything is possible. You see, life is not over until it's over. I will keep pushing. For how long? For as long as it takes. Well, I wouldn't advise it. Some battles are better off in sports. Not this one. And I think that someone that cares about her, you should be worried about what I just told you. You just said you had it from the kids. The kids means in her. They see things. They know things. What do you think of me with all of that happening? Just a thing. Does it bother you? Yes. Yes, it does, of course. Well, sort of me. At least you know me. You know what I'm capable of. The devil they say you know is better than the angel they say you know. You know you are very close to her. So, sort of me. Madam, 
please don't be offended. I want to see you. You're seeing me, John. I mean, I want to talk to you. Then make it snappy. Snappy. You know, I should snap your picture. Are you okay? Please. I'm sorry. He says snappy. I thought you would. Can you be serious? Make it quick. Okay. okay. I want to apologize for what I said the other night. Sylvia said you want to sack me. And don't you think you deserve to be sacked? Madam, please. Tamper justice with mercy. I have family to feed. Then you wake up every day drunk. Madam, I have promised myself never to drink again. That was how you made promise the last time and the time before. This time around, I'm very serious. I will never drink again. Are you trying to say you were not serious all this while? <laughs> Madam, it's not like I'm not serious. Though. But you know, because of the hardship in this country, you could make a young man drink. If a young man doesn't drink, he will be crazy someday. John, next time I come out and see you drunk, you are fired. Here, the most we did is causing a problem, and you want to do another one. Yeah, I've been taking care of mm -hmm. Has she given you the money? She will send it to me as soon as she gets to the office. What? That's the good news! <laughs> I'm so happy. Of course, you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Of course, you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the Chiwe. Uh, Chiwe. Sir. Prepare the noodles. Add a spaghetti, make sure there's beans in, in it, and um, add chili. Don't, don't allow the chili to be too much, no, sir, okay? No, sir. Do it now, 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 now. I'll do it. Sylvia, what is it? Mimi said I should ask you if breakfast is ready. Mm -hmm. Mimi said I should ask you if it's ready. Isn't she supposed to be here to learn how to cook for me? And she's there sending you. Small madam. Anyway, Tell her the food will be ready in the next 10 minutes. All right, but... But what? Never mind. Gloria said she'll be here in 30 minutes. And that means you have breakfast with us. The question is, is breakfast even ready? Sylvia, answer the question. What question? Is breakfast ready? No, breakfast is going to be ready in 10 minutes time. That's what Auntie Chimi told me. Then 10 minutes it is. You guys, I saw something. What is it? I saw Uncle Richie holding Auntie Chimi from behind in the kitchen. What are you talking about? Your eyes must be playing tricks on you. No, I really saw it. That's how you've seen everything. Please sit down and wait for breakfast. Gloria! Loki, you will get your money this evening when you return. Um, is that how it is now? No formalities, no good money. Loki, are you talking of formalities today? Please. In fact, we are no longer friends. If you see me on the roof, stay on your own. Do not ever call me again. See, come on, Shunya. See, don't get like that. Eh? See, I promise I'm going to get you a gift out from that money. No, 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 no. 
I did not ask you for any gift. Keep your gift to yourself. I don't want it. Hey, see, as from today, we are. If I, both of us are enemies now, stop talking to me. I don't um. <laughs> Here. Why are you guys eating in between meals? Um, at Chime, we are no longer going to be eating your food. What's the meaning of that? We are not going to be eating your food again. Why? Because your friend is Uncle Richie, and I saw him holding you. Hey, ah, Sylvia, Uncle Richie is not my friend. He just asked me to prepare noodles for him. Anyway, the very next time. You people will go to that kitchen and prepare this nonsense you call food. You don't like what I'll do to you. This is our father's house and we stay here with our auntie. I know. And your auntie paid me to take care of you. Eh? And to cook for everyone in this house. Is there anything wrong with that? Auntie, you see we're not eating your food again. Is it by force? I wonder. <coughs> Anita, it's by force. Whatever I cook in this house, all of you must eat it. Because that's why your auntie pays me. This is our father's house and we call the shot, not you. Ah. Okay. We shall see. Mm. No problem. We shall see. What did you say? again? Noodles. I was preparing noodles. I met them. They were saying that he should make this thing. Spag Indomie, spaghetti and beans. What? <laughs> That's so gross. So what did I miss? Um, our auntie and Uncle Richie, they were fighting last night. And he wants our father's company. What? That's exactly how I reacted. It's not obvious that Uncle Richie is up to something. He is. I knew from the beginning, from the very first day we met him, that day that our auntie brought him into the house and introduced him to us. Uncle Richie is bad news. So we have a really chance. Well, I think I have everything I need. I've already called Auntie Mabel and told her about it. So how does this work? You sure your auntie detects messages? She gets to see the kind of man she has for a fiance, and hopefully she calls it off with. Does Auntie Mabel have a clear picture of what she's supposed to do? Yes, she's going to confront our auntie, and then I am so sure that they're going to confront Uncle Richie about it. Those stats clearly show he's not a good man. I just hope everything goes well, just as we planned. I know that he'll end up brainwashing our auntie. Uncle Richie is very smart. We need to be very careful. Smart indeed. Madam asked me to give you both the parents. Okay. Oh, by the way, I've not seen Austin. Oh, he went out for an official assignment. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been thinking about what you told me yesterday. And if that Richie guy is what the children say he is, then Madame is in serious trouble. See, that is what you should be thinking about now. Do we tell her? No. Well, we can't just sit back and watch Madame make a mistake. How are we going to tell her that kind of a thing? Hmm. I don't know, but 
we have to figure that out fast. You mean before her wedding? Of course. Once she marries that man, then it is finished. Now you are talking. I'll see you. You called me. Yes. Take this juice to the kids and make sure you serve it to them. Why? Look, I don't have time to answer questions right now. Just take it to them and make sure you serve them. Really? It's not poison, just in case you're wondering. Okay. Take it to them now. And make sure they drink it. Strawberry is good for kids. All right? Take it to them now. Take care of me and pay my dues. This one is there telling me something else. Can you imagine that? Please. He's already gave me a piece of your mind. Uh -huh. Lest I forget, um, I heard from the people from the state government. Remember, I told you about the contract I did for earlier last month. Um, yes, 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 you did. I know that. This is they are requesting for 50 million. 50 wait. Is it not supposed to be the other way around? Where they mobilize you for the contract? Yeah, that's exactly supposed to be. But the thing is, the contract has not been awarded. And they are looking for the highest bidder, someone that will give them 50 million first before they award the contract to the person. Mm -hmm. Wow. What has corruption <laughs> That's the word we need in the world. Wait, are you going to give them that kind of help? Yes. I mean, to the virus. Eh? Yeah. Well, let me ask you, how much is the contract worth again? The contract is worth 500 million. And from my estimation, I'm making nothing less than 150 million. 500 million? You will make nothing less than 150. Absolutely. Less than 50 million. Absolutely. Hey, in that case, it's viable then. But the thing is, they are demanding for cash. Money for cash? 15 million naira cash. Yes. 15 million naira cash. I mean, who carries that kind of cash around these days? Maybe. That's the risk I have to take. They are favoring me because the government said, okay, they turn the money. But if I delay, the contract will be up to someone else. Okay. You give me 15 million. You have to be very careful. I find that kind of cash around, you know, yeah, but it's okay. What am I doing? That's risk that you have to take. Yeah, maybe where are you now? I thought you said you were in my estate. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm very tired. You're close by. Okay, okay. All right, see you soon then. What's going on here? Have you been cheating on me, Richie? What are you talking about? Where is this coming from? Mimi here have been chatting with you with a fake social media account. And you have been sending her nude pictures of yourself. Nude pictures? You're joking, right? This is a joke. Richie. 
This is not a joke. Well then, let me show you so you might refresh your memory. Uncle Richie, I have evidence and I have proof. What do you mean you don't know? It's the chance. They are gone. What, what are you talking about? It's the chance. They are gone. Somebody must have deleted them. Clara, I'm getting very upset right now. What's going on here? Sweetheart, please. Um, can you just go upstairs? I'm really sorry about this old mess up. Please. What? Clara, are you apologizing to him? You have nothing against him, Mabel. I thought you said you have evidence of Richie sending nude pictures to a minor. Where is the evidence? Where is the proof? Where is it? Wait. Clara? Nude pictures? Seriously? Is that how all of you see me now? Richie, please. Please, don't be dramatic here, please. Dramatic, Clara? They laid unfounded allegations against me at my doorstep and you call it dramatic? Sweetheart, I'm sorry, please. <sighs> don't sort this out. Please, just go to the room, please. Please. Okay. <laughs> And you, Mimi, you better start talking. Clara, please, just leave this kid alone, okay? No, 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 no. Don't ask me to leave her alone. She is the cause of all this. She laid all this accusation in order to make my fans look bad before me. You see? Clara, have you seen what you cost? She can cry blood for all I care. She will still get punished for this. Come on now. She had facts. Facts? What facts? What facts? Really? You know what? I'm done here. I'll see you later. <laughs> Mimi, why are you crying? You talk to us. The chance was deleted from my phone. What? Did any of you do it? Mimi, what kind of question is that? We want to bring that man down. And it was our plan. But... Are you sure your phone did format by itself? No, it didn't. All the chats were there except for the one with Uncle Richie. That's strange. I agree. I just felt like an idiot out there. And she was so mad at me, I'm pissed. She thinks she made the story up. Yes. But why didn't you check the chat before you showed Auntie Mabel? I checked the chats when I showed Auntie Mabel. They were there. Are you sure? Yes, because I saw it. Okay, listen. We have to think of a strategy. We're not going to give up now. We have to get rid of him. It's okay. Okay, Baby, I know you're angry and you have every reason in the world to be. What happened out there was... It was what? Clara, how long do I have to keep enduring this? What? This humiliation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, your friend and the kids don't know me. I actually thought you did, but you don't. It's all my fault, and I take the blame. Oh, of course it's your fault. Each time these people come up with all kinds of stories, and you come here to discuss irrelevant topics with them. Little kids, what happened to defending me? Knowing that I can never, I can never do what they accuse me of. Wait, 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 wait. 
Claire, are you looking for an excuse to walk out of this relationship? Excuse me? And who is talking about walking out of this relationship? Richie, I love you. Oh, please. You don't love me. If you do, you will defend me. You won't have to call me out there to be, to, 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 to be humiliated. I'm sorry, okay? It won't happen again. That was exactly what you said the last time. I promise it won't happen again this time. And I promise to make it up to you. And I take full responsibility for this. I'm sorry, baby. Please, just let it go. Okay, please, please. Are you sure you won't humiliate me like that? Again? Nah, no, nah, I'll defend you. It's okay. I'm using your face to see you uptight like this. I hope you're not still mad at me. No, no, no. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself for listening to you and that stupid girl, Mirabel. Mirabel is your mate. And just like me, she was just looking out for your best interest. And since when did trying to cause a problem between I and my girls, my best interest? Okay, madam. I apologize. On behalf of myself and Mirabel, we are sorry. Huh? You got it wrong this time. Please forgive us. You've always gotten it wrong. And what bothers me is the fact that you and my nieces have refused to accept Richie. I really don't have any problem with you. Really, I don't. Come off with me there. At least admit the fact that you never liked Richie since the day I introduced him to you. Well, that is what you mean. It's the truth. And another truth is that Richie loves me and I love him even more and we are getting married and there's absolutely nothing any one of you can do about it. Oh, this is lover girl. Please do. We hands off. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Let's talk about something. I don't get it. I mean, how did this happen? Nobody knows. The child just disappeared from Mimi's phone. How is that even possible? We thought you were the one that deleted it. Sylvia! What? Why would I even delete the chat? We all had one thing in mind, and that is to get rid of that man your auntie's dating. Remember, I was the one that even came up with this plan. Gloria, I'm so sorry. We're personally sorry for what Sylvia said to you. I mean, you've been a good friend. Wow, I can't believe this. So, do we have a backup plan? Backup plan? No, we don't. We just have to wait and hope Uncle Richie makes another mistake.
<laughs> what is this I'm hearing? What are you saying over the phone? I took my money. <laughs> 50 million naira. Who took your money? <laughs> Richie ran away. Hey! <laughs> that bastard! <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. My body is gone. My body is gone. My body is finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. You're not finished. Please stop saying this. It's okay. Thank God you are still alive. Once there is life, there is hope. You know you're a strong woman and you always find a way around everything. This one will not be different. Then you will find a way around it. I can't you? find a way around this. I can't find a way, baby. I can't find a way, baby. I'm broken. I'm broken. You'll be fine. Go do it. I'm broken. Go do always make a way. Everything will be alright. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I should have done more to protect my aunt. You did what you could have done. No. I should have pushed more. I knew that Uncle Richie was a bad person. At least you tried to warn your auntie about him. No. I didn't do enough. Mimi, see, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not your fault. You did what you could. Did I? Yes, you did. Girl, right, Mimi. Let's not be too hard on ourselves. Sometimes, when someone is drowning, no matter how much you try to save them, they'll still drown. I wish that made me feel better. Now that our auntie's money is gone, can she still pay for our school fees? Shut up, Sylvia. You only care about yourself. Let her be, Anita. So, now what are we going to do? The keys are looking for you everywhere. <laughs> Let her keep looking. I'm pretty sure this is the last place Clara and her police people will be looking for me. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. So you found the keys right where they kept them, right? Yes, absolutely. So where's the money? So when you take it, the money will be here. It's in your bedroom, of course. Oh, okay. Then you go and see it. All right. Then. You know, I was actually surprised to get a call from you. I thought you hated me. I did. And I still do. But sometimes you have to work with our enemies to get what you want. And what exactly do you want from me? Hello? You bastard! What do you think in sending news to a minor? What? what? What do you mean? What are you talking about? The minor you've been sending your news to is Mirabel. What? Yes. She's using fake Instagram account to chat you up and you fell for it. Maybe <sighs> seriously, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Listen, that girl is smarter than you think. But I won't let you jeopardize my plans. Do you understand that? I'll handle it.
creates a safe zone in the midst of the open grasslands. A human will her clutch and is sheltered from the drawn effects of the outdoors. Hold on. It's coming. Coming. Hi, Linda. Hi, Richie. You? You're welcome. Thank you. Please sit down. <sighs> what is so urgent that can't wait? Richie, do you know I've got your balls in my hands? Listen, Clara is coming home this evening with 15 million naira, and her intention is to take you to government house first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. So what is my assignment? I need you to grab that money and bring it to me. I'm already processing our traveling documents. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Sounds good, right? Absolutely. Correct. So tell me, what do I offer you? Anything. Anything is nothing. What do you want? Mr. Levi is downstairs. He said he wants to see you. Okay. Tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Looking like this. What happened? Auntie, my friend's aunt fiance ran away with her 50 million naira. What? The 50 million naira. That's terrible. Maybe if you had spoken to Aunt Clara when I begged you to do so, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Wait, wait. Are you trying to blame me for what happened? Auntie, but you have done something. See, there's nothing I could have done about it. If you had spoken to Aunt Claire from an adult's perspective, maybe she would have listened to you. See, Gloria, this is neither my fault or yours. You see, some things are just destined to happen. There's nothing we could do about it. What do you think so? Yes, I know so. Have she reported to the police? Honestly, Auntie, I don't know. This is sad. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Mother. How are you? I'm good. How are you holding up? I don't know. I'm trying to be strong. How is the company? Everything is fine. Everyone is praying for you. Rishi will be found, and the money will be recovered from him. That's my prayer as well. I'm so sorry you are going through this, madam. It's okay. So what do you have for me? Yes. Uh, some of these documents needs your endorsement. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, thank you, Mana. Clara, I want you to know that you can count on me for whatever you need. Hmm. Now that you've mentioned it, please, I need you to help me take very good care of the company. I'm already doing that. You don't have to worry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Did you see her? Yes. How is she doing? Ah, what do you think? She is devastated. She is in serious pain right now. I can't believe that Richie guy did this to her. Police will fish him out. I hope you're right. 15 million is no pocket change. <clears throat> It's all right, let me tell you of something. Right. Uh -huh. Did the Emerald people go? No, 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 not yet, sir. It's all right, I'll see. <clears throat>
<laughs> Cheers to our million. Mm -hmm. Finally, we made it. All thanks to me, right? And the brain behind the screen. Did it? Mm -hmm. But I stole the money. He might provide our traveling documents. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm not gonna argue with you, you win. <coughs> You really don't have to argue with me. You know. I always win. You know, life is like a game of chess. And I, Miguel, has never lost. Not at five. Oh, cheers to that. <laughs> okay, you know what? Anyways, you know what? Just relax, have fun, enjoy yourself. Um, I want to go and get some very cold water first. Okay? No problem. Please, don't miss me too much. I'll be right back. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I'm right here, darling. Never trust your partner in crime. Never. Auntie. Auntie. Yes, what is it? Auntie, I'm about to show you something that is going to blow your mind. But promise me you won't freak out. What is it? Auntie, your friend Auntie Mabel is not being completely honest with you. Well, what are you talking about? Her and Uncle Richie are in this thing. And I promise you, this time around, I have proof of it. Move, you are a dead woman. Kneel down and put your hands in the air. Now! Excuse me. Hello. I need an ambulance. Yes. Come to number 50, Kings Avenue, Pangu Feste. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you? How could you do this? I treated you like a sister. You treated me like a sister? 
Where were you when I asked for five million naira to start the business? Ordinary five million naira. I told you about it. What did you do? Is that why you did what you did? Well, I told you to be patient. Be patient. You told me to be patient. Why you have over fifty million naira lying idle in your account? That was sisters do. Just be ready to spend the rest of your miserable life in jail for attempted murder. I know. I've already made peace with that. It is all or nothing. Madam, the ambulance is around. Okay. Officer, Sir. handcuff her and move her. And get Sir. me the other officers to assist me in moving him. Here is to say a very big thank you to you, my wonderful family. The devil came to steal and to destroy. But to God be the glory, my money is intact. Mm -hmm. And those criminals are in police cell cooling off. This is to assure you, my beautiful messes, that no man will ever come between us. I will be a home for a very long time. Cheers to you all. Cheers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so like we just keep up with you, and it was it was, it was a wonderful plan and idea. Thank you so much, you yeah. girls, for yeah. just as smart. Thank you. Um, you actually predicted it that Richie was going to mess up. To be honest. It wasn't a prediction. It was a wish. But in the end, I didn't feel good about it because it got hurt. It's fine. I'm okay now. Good. Girl, if you give me a chance in your life, I will not turn out like Rishi. I will love and protect you with the last drop of my blood. I will respect you. I will not hurt you. I will put your interest ahead of mine. Levi, I just came out of a very hurting relationship. You don't expect me to jump into another. But I'll make you a promise. I'll think about it and let you know when the time is right. I, I, I like that. You will think about it. But let it be in my favor. <laughs> That's all I ask for now. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Bye, man. 